All right, Shalom. First and foremost, giving all praise to you. How about Shimmy Habashai? Shimmer Kakwadash. For giving me the spirit to do this lesson. Shalom to the elect of Israel, who are the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. That the Lord will have mercy on in these latter days. Shalom to the men of the Lord, preaching and teaching on the Hamas and Bowies in sincerity and in truth. Shalom, Shalom. This is Bill Gates. He says, This is the very be best case scenario for when life can return to normal post pandemic. So, this is uh, Satan, you see right here, which is the so called white man. Uh, also known as Esau, Edom. Uh, they're they're basically trying to give Americans a a uh, a timeline of when things can go back to normal. But we all know this is just a means to pacify them because the real bad news is really about to, is really about to come, which is holidays and Christmas and all of that is about to be canceled. And you're about to see you're thinking you're seeing a, a lack of mirth. Now, wait until uh, these holidays come, you know, in a very short period of time. It says here, six months into COVID-19 pandemic, it can be hard to remember life before the novel coronavirus. So uh, when might the pandemic end so that things can return to normal? Well, that, that that's a false... Uh, that, that's a false premise, I should say, because they have no intentions on turning this place back to normal. You know, they, they seize too much power and too many Americans have gone along with it. So that that's just what it is. You know, America fell for it. And and now Satan's about to get busy out here. It says uh, billionaire philanthropist Bill Gates has an idea about what the best case timeline looks like for Americans. It says in the very best case. Keep that in mind. Best case, two years from now, you would be for some of the health things in particular, ideally back to where you were beginning of 2020, Gates okay, said in an interview. So so that's the best case scenario. But really, they want this thing to go on 2024. Um, I, I've heard that uh, 2024 is a uh, time before they can get enough vaccine shots to give everybody two vaccines. But 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 why why would they stop there? You know, that that's four years from now. Why wouldn't another uh, disease or illness come before then? You know, they can create these things in a lab. You know, there's patents on them. There's nothing nothing at all from stopping them from releasing it. So you, you can believe this devil as you want, but you can see how greedy he is. Let me skip down. Oh, he says, in other words, by 2022, life in rich countries could be back to how things were pre-pandemic. Well, the other countries aren't as bad as America. America has has more deaths than any other country by far and, and don't even have the highest population. You know, how the hell are there more deaths in America than there are in China where the thing uh, started from? And, and, and there's uh, five times the amount of people in China. There's five times the amount of people in China, and there's still less deaths, and that's where the illness came from. So this idea that rich countries are going to be back is, is bullshit, you know? Let me skip down. Yeah, it's just uh, from Fauci. It says if you're talking about getting back to a degree of normality prior to COVID, it's going to be well into 2021, towards the end of 2021, Fauci said. So you see how they said, you know, just for, first for a few weeks, you know, we're just going to flatten the curve, you know. And, and, and you know, by May, you know, we'll, 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 we'll flatten the curve enough to where, you know, Things can kind of get back to normal. You can open up. The hospitals can treat people, but the hospitals aren't even busy, man. Let me let me get the scripture. I don't want to make this long. This is uh, Habakkuk two and four. It says, "Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, but the just shall live by faith." And that's exactly what we need in these latter days, because ultimately this is this is just setting the stage for the real agenda, which is the mark of the beast, uh, also known as the RFID chip or the technology 
using the blockchain technology, giving them a chance to uh, to get this new uh, dollar or world reserve currency set in place. And, and the Lord is going to cut all of this short, you know. Lord willing, we don't even make it to 2022. The Lord cuts this short and and, and uh, sends those chariots to start getting busy. You know, World War Three pops off and, 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 you know, and then we're basically out of here, you know. Those were the elect. Uh, this is uh, Habakkuk 2 and 5. It says, Yea, also because he transgresseth by wine, he is a proud man, neither keepeth at home, who enlarge his territory, who, who, en who enlarge his desire as hell and is as death. And cannot be satisfied, but gather unto him all nations and heapeth unto him all people. That's what this is, man. When you read the bottom part of this, where was it? It says, unless you get herd immunity at really surprising levels like 20 30 20 or 30 percent you got seven billion people each of them needing two doses gates told intelligencer many of the vaccines in development will require an additional dose plus a booster so that's three shots that's the one dose that's the initial dose plus uh a salakia so two dose so each will require an initial dose plus a booster in order to be effective, even when, even then it is still unclear how long any immunity will last. So there, this, this language is basically saying this is the new way of the world, you know. This is why Bill Gates left Microsoft and went into quote unquote philanthropy and, and drugs and medical research because this is his new business idea. He's not going to jump into it because he's a humanitarian. He saw a long-term uh, goal and a plan to make money, and especially off of you Israelites, you Jakes, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And he's uh, running rampant on you Hamites over there in Africa, too. Ain't a lot of Jake that's still over there. He says, that's 14 billion doses to administer, Gates said. We don't make anything at that volume so even if 80 percent of all vaccines get approved and we get we get all this capacity to get the eradication it stretches into 2022 he says you hope it doesn't stretch past 22 he said <laughs> 2022 man so they want literally the entire world that's why it says here in Habakkuk 2 and 5 the problem man either keepeth at home who enlargeth his desire as hell and is as death and cannot be satisfied, but gathereth unto him all nations and heapeth unto him all people. You know? This this man's gotta be done away with. The Lord needs to come back. This is Psalms fifty nine and two it says, Deliver me from the workers of iniquity and save me from bloody men. And Esau Edom is the bloody man here. You know, this is what we need to pray for. The elect needs to send up this prayer, you know. And, and if you know that you're an Israelite, you should be uh, seeking the Most High, you know. The Lord, the Scripture says, seek Him early. It says, for lo, they lie in wait for my soul. And that's what they're doing. They're setting things up. They want your soul. They want to put you basically back into slavery. They want to reduce this, uh, the population of us significantly and 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 resubjugate us, you know, because these are psychopaths. It says the mighty are gathered against me, not for my transgression, nor for my sin. O Lord, Yahweh, they run and prepare themselves without my fault. Awake to help me and behold, thou therefore, O Lord, Yahweh, power of hosts. The God of Israel, wake to visit all the heathen, be not merciful to any wicked transgressors, Salah. 
All right. And the Lord is definitely going to do that. And wicked transgressors includes you Israelites to you two thirds that are, that are scoffing, that are just uh, being demons, killing each other, selling drugs to one another. Hey, the wrath of the Lord is, is not going to stop because you because uh, you're an Israelite. These angels that's going to get commissioned to go out there and just cause mass death. They're not going to feel bad for you. All right. They're not gonna. They're not gonna stop because they see that you're an Israelite. Once that wrath, that cup is poured out, man, that's it. If you don't, if you don't have uh, that mark of exemption, if you haven't been, your name hasn't been written in the book. That's it. It says, "Behold, they belch out with their mouth; swords are in their lips. For who say? For who say they do it here? Because." This is typical pride of Esau Edom. He'll know the prophecies and scriptures, but he's saying, that, yeah, nobody, nobody's hearing them, you know, nobody's delivered them yet. Verse 8 says, but thou, O Lord, Yahweh, shalt laugh at them, thou shalt have all the heathen in derision, all the heathen, not Esau Edom, you Moabites, you Ammonites, you Hamites, you Elamites, Ishmaelites. Y'all are about to... uh." <laughs> catch a rude awakening it says the god of my mercy shall prevent me god shall let me see my desire upon my enemies and that's a beautiful thing to have a blessing you know i pray for that same thing verse 11 it says slay them not lest my people forget scatter them by thy power and bring them down O lord our shield for the sin this is the main point for the sin of their mouth and the words of their lips let them even be taken in their pride because this is prideful to think that you can speak all this rhetoric that you know you're here to save a bunch of people but really at the same time you're, you're going to poison them with this you know forced shot you know on under the guise of trying to uh of saying that you're trying to help It says, for the sin of their mouth and the words of their lips, let them even be taken in their pride and for cursing and lying which they speak. And that's you, Esau. You know, so with that, I'm going to say, Hopefully, you brothers were edified. Wa'abababal.